Hi, I'd like to show you a simple technique for using Photoshop to create a double matte effect. It's called trompe l'oeil, or loosely translated from the French, it fools the eye. I'm going to take a 5x7 photo and create a double matte that will fit an 8x10 inch frame. Also, we're going to be able to dial in some colors for the mats that will complement our image. So let's get started. Here I have an image uh, that's um, formatted for 5x7. It's a nice colorful fall foliage type picture we get to enjoy here in the Northeast. And the first thing I'm going to do is <coughs> copy the background by taking the background layer and dragging it down to the copy icon. <coughs> then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the canvas size. So I'm going to say image canvas size and I'm going to click on the relative checkbox because I want the new canvas size to be 0.25 inches bigger or a quarter of an inch all the way around. Click OK. <clears throat> That's good. Let's rename this uh, layer as image as follows. <clears throat> Click on the background image and let's fill this with gray. <clears throat> Um, and in the checkbox here, we can choose 50% gray and as follows. All right, good. <clears throat> Let's do this again. Grab the background, copy it, drag it down to the copy icon. This time, let's rename this inner mat. That's good. And once again, we're going to change the canvas size. <clears throat> this time, we're going to make it the size of our finished product, uh, in this case, 8 inches by 10 inches. So I will type 8 and by 10. And we click OK. All right, looking pretty good. Get this back on the screen. <clears throat> All right, next we're going to start making um, kind of the fun part, one of the fun parts. I'm going to double click on the inner mat. Well, in fact, let's do this first. Uh, let's click on the background layer. Once again, let's do an edit, fill, 50% gray, and click OK. There we go. All right. <clears throat> let's go back to the inner matte layer. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to double click on that layer. It opens the layer style dialog box. I'm going to invoke the bevel and emboss dialog box, and I'm going to make a couple of simple changes here. The style is going to be um, outer bevel. The technique, I want to be chisel hard. I want the light becoming <clears throat> down, so, you know, from a, a downward direction. And I want to increase the size of this bevel just a little bit. Um, probably, let's make it 8 pixels. And you want to remember that number because we're going to use it later. Okay? Um, everything else, shading, all, everything else we will let default. That's fine. I'm going to click OK. All right. <clears throat> Actually, you're starting to see the bevel now, right? All right, let's do this. I'm going to right-click on this inner mat layer, and then click Copy Layer Style. I'm going to right-click on the image layer, and click Paste Layer Style. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to create some colors on our mats. The first thing I'm going to do is click on the inner mat level layer, hold down my Control key, click and I now have a selection that is equal to my inner mat. I'm going to create a, an adjustment layer by clicking on the small icon in the bottom of the layers palette. And I'm going to make a hue saturation adjustment layer as follows. Because I had the inner mat selected, I already have a layer mask in place that's going to limit what I'm about to do just to the size of the inner mat. <clears throat> okay. So now what we're going to do is click the Colorize button. I hope that's not off the screen. Let me move it over here for you. Click the Colorize button. And now what I can do is I can dial in some color. Um, and I'm, I'm just sort of winging it here. I'm going to just maybe do a sort of a, a tan color. I don't know. And so you can adjust the hue. The hue you can adjust the saturation, light more or less. Um, I don't know. This is very subjective. You can choose whatever you like. But I'll, we will, for the sake of argument, sake of demonstration, shall I say, we will leave it like this and we'll click OK. All right. Looks pretty good. Now we're going to turn our attention to the 
color of the outer mat and I'm going to do that a little bit differently here. I'm going to click on the background layer. I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to fill that with 50% gray. Okay. And above this, I'm going to create a um, a adjustment layer. And this again, it's hue saturation. Be sure the the colorize checkbox is checked. And we have a <laughs> pretty strange color there. Um, I don't know. We again, this is. I don't know, let's leave it right there for the sake of argument. All right, so sort of a green and a brown, sort of matching the fall colors. <clears throat> Again, you can use whatever colors you want. I'll click OK. That looks pretty good. I'm kind of liking this. But now there's one more thing I'm going to do, add a, one, a little more realism, and that is I'm going to put a texture on this outside layer. And I'm going to do that um, as follows. The first thing I'm going to do is click, hold down the Control key, and click on the inner mat. Uh, icon. So we now have a selection equal to the inner mat. But what I want to do now is I want to modify the selection, that is make it a little bit bigger um, as follows. I'm going to say select, modify, expand, and I want to expand it by the 8 pixels, which is the width of the mat bevel. Okay, I'll show you why in a second. So we click OK. Now it's eight pixels bigger. Now I'm going to say select inverse and I now have the outer mat selected but without the bevel that runs around its inside edge. And the reason I'm going to do that is I'm going to add some texture and I only want that texture to be on the colored mat. I don't want that texture to be on the bevel itself. Alright, so let's do that. Let's click on the layer above the background and we can say filter, um, texture, texturizer, um, and I'm going to use, uh, let's say, burlap, and I'm going to let everything default. You can certainly play with these, but this works pretty well, so I'm going to click OK. And now you see we have a texture. Now, the reason we did this little exercise about um, increasing the um, pixels that were selected by 8 pixels is as follows. Let me zoom in and I'll show you. And I'm going to hit Control D. And you can see that the texture I have is on the outer mat, but it does not appear on the bevel. Okay, maybe that's a nit, but I think it looks kind of nice. So at any rate, that's it. You have a nicely formatted um, print, a 5x7 print. To It's now 8x10. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks very much.